rambling on, but like I said, um, so you can't say you don't like anything unless you try it. Like music, for instance. People always like to put their taste for music, their genres, in a box. I only like R&B and rap. I only like jazz, and I don't, ooh, I, ooh, I really don't listen to that. All I listen to is gospel music. You know, and then I'm, and then I hear this a lot too. I like all types of music except country. Why not country? What's wrong with country? You know, and I used to say that, but I had to realize that I do like Faith Hill. I love me some Leon Rhymes. Okay, how can I live without you? It's just how can you say that you don't like something and you've never tried it? Not to say that, oh, you, you know, you say, okay, well, I tried to listen to some country music and you just turned it on. You heard a little twang and you turned it off like, no, I like that. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about giving something a chance, indulging it. Put it in your mouth and chew it and swallow it. And tell me if you like it or not. And really let it sit. Let the taste marinate in your mouth. Let your taste buds go on an adventure. You know, go somewhere that they haven't been before. Don't, don't, don't limit yourself. Life is too short for that. Another example, people. How can you possibly say that you don't like such and such? Have you ever got a chance to sit down and talk to such and such? Have you, you know, sat down and, and had a conversation? You know, with this person that you claim that you just don't like or that, you know, whatever like that or just they, you too fly for them, you know. I remember when I used to go skating and there was this girl and she was just so, so hyper around me and she was just so, I'd ran, I'd ran and she would just, you know, touching me and, then, you know, and I just did not like her and I did not know why I did not like her. And so I told her. I said, baby, I said, I, I said, I just don't like you. I said, I don't know why. I said, but I just don't. And yeah, yay for being honest, but I wish I could have gotten to know her. Like, you know what? Let me find out why I don't like this young lady. Let me find out, you know, what, what the deal is, you know? And, you know, I didn't because that was back in the day when I was just, you know, doing my own thing. But, you know, I wish I had have gotten to know her so that I can gauge why I don't like you. You know what I'm saying? I'm, if I'm not liking you and I have no foundation on it, I'm just being foolish. Flat out. If you're not, if you're disliking something and you have no foundation, then you're just you're, you're, you're disliking it or hating it for no reason at all. And that makes you look really stupid. So I don't look stupid if I say I don't like black eyed peas because I have a revelation that black eyed peas are Nasty. Nasty. I was watching Crooklyn and uh uh what's his name? I forgot what the little light skinned boy's name was, but his mama made him in. He had a whole bunch of black eyed peas that he had to eat before he could be excused from the table. And he was like, How do y'all eat this stuff? This is just nasty. And I'm like, I feel for you. I don't care if it has calcium or vitamins, whatever they have pills for that. That's the ow! I can say I don't like it because I taste it. Now, back to the chitlings and the, you know, the pig's feet and mountain oysters and, and things like that. I have not tasted it. Don't want to. I'm not going to say it's nasty because I haven't tasted it to say that it's nasty. I'm not going to say that I like it because I definitely can't say that I like it because I ain't tasted it yet. I'm just going to, we're just going to agree to disagree on that note as far as that food is concerned. You know, yeah. So, stop, stop putting yourself in boxes. Do something that you've never done before. You know, if you say you don't like reading books about politics, why? You don't even know why. Get an, get an understanding. Read something. Go to a movie that you would never go see. You know, try something different. Uh, good night. Like me with these bananas, strawberry banana smoothies. Hold on. One moment, please. Got me. Yeah, can I get a strawberry banana smoothie from Dunkin' Donuts with whipped cream? Medium, please. That'll be it. Yeah. Now, I can say that, you know, strawberry banana smoothie is the best because I've had the mango passion fruit. I've had the wild berry. You know, it's just about trying something different. Be able to have a wide variety of choices. Make choices. Good night, people. The moral of this right here. Don't say you don't like something or that you hate something if you do not understand it or you have not tried it. 
If you have not ever tried a strawberry banana smoothie in your entire lifestyle as a human being, do not say you don't like them and you know who I'm talking to because you were the main one that said you don't like bananas. But yet, when we got up in here and you tried it, every time I come to a Dunkin' Donuts to get my strawberry banana smoothie, you want one too, oxymoron. So yeah. Well, I hope you have been enlightened. And I'm gonna go um, enjoy the smoothie on my way home back to my residence. And I will talk to you guys later. Vote or die! I got your name, I got your number. And I wonder when you'll pull your head from under your ass. You sell your soul, you go and hold yourself. You ain't got no class. Tables are turned out, does it feel?